much. Thank you very much. First, let me thank Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, I'm sure all, all uh, everyone in New York City joins me in thanking the mayor for his leadership, his competence, his diligence, his professionalism. His team has been tireless. And, Mr. Mayor, we thank uh, all of you very much. We thank all of the first responders, every one of them a hero. We thank the state and local elected officials who are all here today. Special thank you to Borough President Molinaro, who has done a great job of leadership on the ground, County Executive Ed Mangano in Nassau County, and County Executive Steve Ballone in Suffolk County. We thank them all. Most of all, Mr. President, we thank you, and we thank your cabinet, especially Secretaries Napolitano and Donovan and Craig Fugate for their unprecedented federal presence and effort. I'd also like to thank our federal officials, Senator Schumer, Senator Gillibrand, uh, Congressman Grimm, who are with us today for all their help uh, in securing the necessary funds so that we can rebuild. 17 days ago, on October 29th, everything changed for New York. 60 New Yorkers lost their lives. Tens of thousands saw their homes damaged or destroyed. Communities from Staten Island to Far Rockaway to Long Beach to Lindenhurst were decimated. And 17 days ago, we felt a new vulnerability for the first time. We have much to do, there is no doubt. We must provide shelter and support in the short term. We must repair thousands of homes and small businesses. We must re-knit the fabric of tattered communities. We must rethink and redesign for the long term because extreme weather, as we have learned, is the new normal. But we are New Yorkers, Mr. President. We are tough, and we are resilient, and we will overcome, and we will be the better for it. Also, Mr. President, we take comfort in knowing that we are not alone. While we may not have had heat in our homes, our hearts have been warmed by the outpouring of support, generosity, and love from people all across the nation. People from across the country have joined us, have donated, sent food, and we want to say a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of them. And let me say, Mr. President, thank you to you, because you have exemplified the spirit of partnership and the spirit of community. I was personally amazed and touched by your phone calls and attention, even during times that were very, very busy. You were there for us. You were there for New York, and we thank you, Mr. President. And together, Mr. President, we will not just rebuild New York, we will build back better than ever before. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I I'm going to be relatively brief. I I came up here right after the storm, uh, was on the Jersey uh, side, and I promised to everybody that I was speaking on behalf of the country when I said we are going to be here until the rebuilding is complete. And I meant it. Uh, so I'm going to come back today, but I'm also going to be coming back in the future to make sure that we have followed through on that commitment. I want to thank uh, the outstanding leadership that's been provided by state and local officials. Uh, obviously, Governor Cuomo uh, and Mayor Bloomberg uh, have done an outstanding job. Uh, to Borough President Malnaro, thank you so much for your leadership uh, at a time when the folks here on this island were obviously going through extraordinarily difficult times. Uh, the people of Long Island. Uh, who are going through really tough times. Across the board, what we've seen is cooperation uh, and a spirit of service. And, you know, for the first responders who are here, the police officers, the firefighters, the EMS folks, the sanitation workers who sometimes don't get credit uh, but have done heroic work, uh, we, we are so grateful to you because you exemplify uh, what America is all about. Uh, I, I'm grateful to the Red Cross. Uh, who's been so responsive, uh, not just here, but in, in disasters around the country. And I want to thank all the volunteers. As we were shaking hands over there, we had folks uh, from every part of the country. We had some Canadians uh, who had uh, come down to help out. And, and you know, during 
difficult times like this, we're reminded that uh, we're bound together and we have to look out for each other. And a lot of the things that seem important, the petty differences melt away and we focus on what binds us together and that we as Americans uh, are going to stand with each other uh, in their hour of need. Now, uh, more specifically, we are now still in the process of recovery. Uh, as you can see, as you travel around parts of Staten Island, as we flew over parts uh, of uh, other parts of the city and, and uh, the region that had been impacted, uh, there's still a lot of cleanup to do. People still need emergency help. They still need heat. They still need power. They still need food. They still need uh, shelter. Kids are still uh, trying to figure out where they're going to, going to school. So there's a lot of short-term, immediate stuff that has to be dealt with, and we are going to make sure that we stay here as long as people need that immediate help. That's FEMA's primary task. And we'll be coordinating closely with state and local governments to make sure folks are getting the short-term help. But what we've also already heard is that there's going to be some long-term rebuilding that's required. You know, you look at this block uh, and you know that uh, this is a community that is deeply rooted. You know, most of the folks that I met here have been here 20, 30, 50 years. Uh, they don't want to see their community uprooted, but there's got to be a, a plan for rebuilding. Uh, and that plan is going to have to be coordinated and there's going to need resources. So uh, what I've committed to doing is to work with the outstanding congressional delegation led by uh, your senators, Chuck Schumer and, and, and Kristen Gillibrand, also working with Governor Christie and the Jersey uh, delegation to try to come up with a game plan for how we're going to be able to resource the rebuilding process. Uh, and I'm confident, as Governor Cuomo said, that we're going to be able to do it. Uh, but it's going to require everybody uh, focus on getting the job done. We're going to have to put some of the turf battles aside. We're going to have to make sure that everybody's focused on doing the job uh, as opposed to worrying about who's getting the credit or who's getting the contracts or all that stuff that sometimes goes into the rebuilding process. On the federal level, because this is going to be such a big job, I wanted to assign one particular person who would be in charge from our perspective, who would be our point person, because FEMA basically runs the recovery process. It doesn't focus on the rebuilding. For that, we've got to have all government agencies involved. Janet Napolitano has done a great job uh, with respect to DHS, uh, but we thought it would be good to have a New Yorker uh, who's going to be the point person. And so uh, our outstanding uh, uh, HUD uh, secretary, uh, Sean Donovan, uh, who used to be the head of the New York Housing Authority, so he knows a little bit about uh, New York and building, uh, is going to be our point person, and he's going to be working with the mayor, the governor, the borough presidents, uh, the, the county officials, uh, to make sure that we come up with a strong, effective plan, and then I'll be working with the members of Congress uh, to do everything we can to get the resources needed uh, to rebuild. And, and I, I have every confidence that, that Sean is going to be doing a great job, uh, and so people should feel some confidence about that. Uh, l l let me just close by, by saying this. Um, I had uh, the opportunity to, uh, to give some hugs and, and communicate thoughts and prayers to the, the Moore family. Uh, they lost two young sons uh, during the course of this tragedy. And obviously, I expressed to them, uh, as a father, as a parent, uh, my heartbreak over what they went through. Uh, and, and they're still, obviously, a little shell-shocked. Uh, but they came here in part because they wanted to say thank you to all the people who had been supportive of them. They, in particular, mentioned Lieutenant Kevin Gallagher of the NYPD, uh, who, when, when they knew that their sons were missing, uh, Lieutenant Gallagher made a point of staying with them and doing everything he could so that uh, ultimately they, they, they knew what had happened with their boys and were able to recover uh, their bodies and, and has been with them as a source of support ever since. That's not in the job description of Lieutenant Gallagher. Uh, he did that because that's what so many of our first responders do. They go above and beyond 
uh, the call of duty uh, to respond to uh, people in need. Uh, and so I want to give a shout out to Lieutenant Gallagher, but I also want to point out the Moors, even in their grief, asked me to mention Lieutenant Gallagher, and that says something about them as well. Uh, and that spirit uh, and, and, and sense of, of togetherness uh, and looking out for one another, uh, that's what's going to carry us through this tragedy. It's not going to be easy. There is still going to be, believe it or not, some complaints over the next several months. Uh, not everybody's going to be satisfied. Uh, I have to tell you, the insurance companies and some of the other uh, private sector uh, folks who are involved in this, uh, we need you to show uh, some, some heart and some spirit in helping people rebuild as well. Uh, but when I hear the story of the Moors and I hear about Lieutenant Gallagher, that's what makes me confident that we're going to be able to rebuild. All right? Uh, I'm very proud of you, New York. Uh, you guys are tough. Uh, you bounce back, uh, just as America always bounces back. Uh, the same is going to be true this time out. All right? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.